So you don't believe we can have a limited strike? I think it is possible, but I think if you pay closely, uh, close attention to what the Foreign Relations Committee did yesterday, they very much broaden the definition of what that resolution is about. And really what it comes down to now is not just the so-called surgical strike to punish Assad, who's clearly a terrible dictator, using chemical weapons against his people, atrocious. But what the resolution is about is saying, we're not just going to punish Assad, we really want regime change. We want to change the momentum on the ground. So you've got a couple of factors. What happens if the war does not go well for the opposition? How much money, how much effort do we spend on that? Do we start training troops there? What do you do with the facts that maybe 25, 25, 20 to 25 percent of the opposition are Islamic fundamentalists, some of them affiliated with al-Qaeda? How do you deal with that? President Putin slammed U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry over his testimony on the civil war in Syria. The Russian strongman calling Kerry a liar. Watch this. I've watched debates in Congress. A congressman asked Mr. Kerry, is there al-Qaeda? People say they've gotten stronger. He says, no. I say officially, they aren't there. The main combat unit, the so-called al-Nursa, is a unit of al-Qaeda. They know about this. It was not pleasant for me to see this. Well, we communicate with them and assume that they are decent people. He lies openly and he knows that he lies. This is sad. Look, we went into Afghanistan. We thought that was a slam dunk. Eleven years later, 12 years later, we're still in that war. We went into Iraq, no problems. 4,600 deaths later, two and a half trillion dollars later, we're still concerned about that war. So the Middle East is a quagmire. And what if Syria use chemical, uses chemical weapons again? Well, you've got to use, you know, there are a lot of problems in this world, and it's atrocious. But right now we have 14 percent of our people unemployed. 20% of our young people unemployed. What about those kids? What about the 40% of young black kids who don't have a job? But is it an what either about or? global warming? Is it an either or situation? Well, I'm Why can't we do both? Well, that's a good question. Right now, the Congress can't even do the simplest things. Right now, the Congress doesn't even discuss massive unemployment, the growing gap between the rich and the poor. What do you think happens if you're involved in a war in Syria? Do you really think? that Congress is going to start addressing the important issues facing the American people. Furthermore, I have to say that I find it interesting that right now, today, as a result of Republicans refusing to raise taxes on the wealthy or corporations, we're throwing children off of Head Start. We're denying basic nutrition, Meals on Wheels programs to vulnerable senior citizens. Who's going to pay for this war?